Welcome back to my garage. Here's a few quick tips before you start cutting into your cylinder. Here's a good way for marking ports when um, raising them, making them higher. First, you take a piston ring, measure the thickness of that piston ring. So this one's uh, one millimeter. Apply some oil to the bore, do not score it up. Insert the piston ring in the bore. Use a spare piston to push it down there. Push it all the way down into the ports. Then put the piston in from the underside. And that's to have as much of the piston as possible into the bore. Uh, so that it won't be cooked or crooked in there. Set your calipers to the desired uh, height from top to the center you want the port to be, but subtract one millimeter because that's the thickness of the ring. Now use the depth measuring tip of your um, calipers. Push the ring up with the piston inside the bore until you hit the depth thing. Like that, pull out the piston, and now the ring is your guide. So that's where you will stop when you port the port. <laughs> port the port, when you cut the port. It should stay in there pretty tight. If you want to be extra cautious, you could wash down the cylinder bore with some acetone and then apply a little bit of glue to the ring in there to keep it from moving around. When you want to remove it, just uh, apply some heat or more acetone and it should free it up. The cylinder you have chosen to cut into will probably be made of aluminium with a coating of uh, Nicaseal, basically a hard uh, coating in the bore. This coating has a tendency to chip if you are using bits like this, which you will probably be using for cutting new port heights and um, shapes. So a smart thing to do is to use uh, either a diamond burr or a sanding stone. Sand down the hard coating where you are going to cut with your cutting tip. If you don't do this, you might chip off the coating, which has happened here. I'll try to show you. So. Between those two ports, you can see that the Nicosil has almost chipped off completely. Because these tips will grab and do that. If you have a plan and uh, some measurements you are going for, be extremely careful and take it extremely slowly when you start cutting into the cylinder. Because especially on these uh, small cylinders with uh, short stroke, just 0.2-0.3 millimeters can be the difference between awesome power or a destroyed cylinder with almost no power. This is especially true when uh, porting the transfers because you are digging into the all important blowdown time area. The blowdown is basically the part of the exhaust port that is open before the transfers open and um, if you raise the transfers too much you lose too much of that blowdown area and your cylinder won't produce any power at higher RPM. It's not just the size of the ports that matters. Uh, what matters uh, just as much or even more is the shape and the aim or the angles of the port walls and the port roof and the size. If you are cutting new angles and the new, um, new shapes, be extremely careful to retain the symmetry and uh, to keep everything um, and the same, all the ports or port sets the same and if you are not changing the angle uh, be extremely careful so you don't change the angle of the ports because uh, the shape and the angle of how the ports are uh, aiming into the cylinder is extremely important. To avoid screwing up the transfer roof angles and the shape of the ports you can often achieve uh, your desired transfer durations by lifting the cylinder with a shim and taking off the same amount from the top deck. And then cut down the port floors instead because the roof angles are much more important than the floor angles. 
Now just remember that by raising the cylinder you are doing nothing to the blowdown time area. So if you go that route you will have to raise the exhaust port. And you will have to make sure that the exhaust port isn't too high already. Because if you, if you lift the cylinder too much and you end up with uh, 230 degrees exhaust duration you have probably um, made it a door stopper. When porting your exhaust do not be tempted to hog out the whole duct to make it as large as possible to match your uh, giant uh, super high performance hyper uh, exhaust system. Do some calculations and try to aim for an exit area of the duct. So here at the flange, 75% of your large triple port or dual port. Why would you do this, uh, you ask me? That's because you want to keep the velocity high when you are in the blowdown phase. So you have to kind of imagine the port being smaller. Because it's the blowdown phase that is the most important phase and you want your port to flow as good as possible in that phase. A wide exhaust port but with low duration uh, will give you the same power or even more than a high exhaust port uh, with the same um, area but higher duration but the high exhaust port will give you a much smaller RPM range where your pipe is in resonance. When porting the transfer ducts uh, do not just hog them out to uh, as large as you possibly can and call it max ported which is a common thing in Norway maybe Sweden too. What you should do is try to retain the same angle as the exit angle of the ports in the bore all the way. If you can keep it bending in just one plane that will cause more power. So try to retain the same angle all the way through the duct as you have when the port exits the bore or enters the bore, exits the port into the bore. Before cutting into anything at all you should make sure that there is enough material uh, so that you don't push through into the water jacket or out into the open air in, a, in an air-cooled cylinder. Just use something to poke around in there and check how how much material there is and compare from inside the bore and see if there is room for porting. If you don't do this and you start porting and then you punch through then the cylinder is ruined. You could weld it probably but you are opening up a can of worms. That's it, thanks for watching. Now remember please don't be afraid of uh, trying. You have to go through a couple of cylinders and fail a few times before you get a hang of it. And um, that's the way it is, it's a part of it. Okay, thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.